Hey, you know what exotic doesn't get nearly enough attention? Teraba. You probably already know that Fighting Lion is my favorite exotic in the game, but Teraba is easily my second favorite and I really don't know why I don't see more people using it. Okay, that's a lie. I do know why. Teraba was a raid exotic, so you need a stack of spoils to buy it, and most people buy Anarchy first with a stack of spoils because that's what everybody says to buy with your first stack of spoils, so after people buy one raid exotic, they usually don't buy the others because that's kind of a grind, and people don't really say good things about the other raid exotics, even though you should get them anyway, and... <gasps> Look, Teraba's great. It's a powerful SMG, and is one of the best and fastest killing primary weapons in the game. The only thing faster than Terabus Time to Kill is your computer when you use today's sponsor, Opera GX, the first web browser made for gamers. Okay, I know that a gaming web browser for gamers sounds kind of silly, but ask yourself this. Have your games ever ran worse because you had Chrome open with a few tabs up and a video playing? Well, with the GX control panel, you can limit how much CPU, RAM, and bandwidth Opera uses to ensure your games are running buttery smooth all the time while you do things like, say, watch your favorite streamer over on Twitch. Speaking of Twitch, Opera GX has Twitch integration that notifies you when your favorite streamers go live and lets you hop and chat uncomfortably Lord. fast. It has integrations for messaging apps like Twitter and Discord, and it has integrations with music apps like Spotify and YouTube Music so that sick beats and dumb memes are always just a click away. Also just a click away is the GX Corner, where you can find news, sales, and release dates on games from across the web. Don't like how Opera GX looks out of the box? Customize it with different themes or create your own. Switching over to Opera GX is quick and easy. Just go to your settings and import all your stuff over with just a couple of clicks. Opera GX even supports Chrome extensions, so if you're swapping over from Chrome, you won't have to miss out on anything. Download Opera GX today at the link in the description below. It's available on PC and on mobile, and it's completely free. Thanks again to Opera for sponsoring this video. Okay, now back to Teraba. Let's go over why you should use it. Teraba is an exotic, 750, but actually 720, RPM solar SMG that at a glance has pretty average stats, but Teraba does have 16 zoom, giving it a 20 meter range, which is pretty alright for an SMG. Its real strength comes from its exotic perk, Ravenous Beast, which fills a meter that's visible on the gun by dealing or taking damage. Once the bar is full, you can hold your reload button to activate what is arguably the strongest buff of any weapon in the entire game. With Ravenous Beast active, Teraba will deal double damage in PvE and 50% more damage in PvP, its body shots will deal as much damage as headshots, its fire rate increases to 900 RPM, its reload stat is increased to 100, and it gets an additional 0.8x reload duration scale multiplier, which basically just means it gets a 20% faster reload speed on top of its 100 reload stat. That. And to top it all off, it gives you 100 mobility while active, which you can easily see here in this clip where my hunter has 10 mobility, but my dog recharges in 12 seconds. The buff lasts for 8 seconds and can be extended by dealing damage with Teraba. Dealing damage to miners and elites extends the duration by about a third of a second per shot, while dealing damage to majors and bosses extends the timer by just a little, but not enough to keep the buff up forever. To put in perspective just how strong this buff is, in PvE, it makes Teraba the highest DPS primary weapon in the entire game, dealing more damage than a single Rat King in a 6 stack, more damage than a fully ramped up Outbreak Perfect and more damage than just about every single special weapon or machine gun in the entire game. In PvP, Ravenous Beast brings Terrapa's time to kill all the way down to just a third of a second, which is just six shots to kill, and they don't even have to be headshots. This damage boost even stacks with stuff like high-energy fire or weapons of light to bring the time to kill down to Call of Duty levels. If that sounds disgusting, that's because it is. So let's do some PvP with it. For my loadout, I'll be running Ophidian Aspects for faster reloads and handling, Heritage is my kinetic since it's a goddamn stat monster of a slug shotgun, and for my subclass, I'll be running Bottom Tree Voidwalker for Devour because if you have Devour and Ravenous Beast active at the same time, you're basically unstoppable. Well, I forgot my mic was muted when I played the last game, so now I'm getting punished with uh, Dead Cliffs on the bad spawn. I'll just run to their point and see if I can't do anything, try to flip the spawns. Come on, push me. Or, oh, shit. Almost caught me reloading. Sounded like he got frozen. Is he not still in that corner? Dude, what's going on on this point? Somebody's got outbreak? Man, what is going on in this lobby? There's some weird shit happening. Well, I've already got Ravenous Beast ready to go. I need to cap this point first. I don't want to start spawning at A because those spawn traps just suck. Alright, I'm going to proc my Devour. Get Ravenous Beast going. And we're just going to walk at him. Yeah, even at that range, it's doing like 30 damage. It's it's so strong when Ravenous Beast is active. And I didn't have it long enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I might need this shotgun. Hang on. Yep. Nope, that's too many people. I can't I can't stop that. Let me get Devour going just so I can have it. I'll feel a little safer. Okay. I missed that second headshot, but I'm telling you, man, that shotgun's so good. Oh, I almost thought that would kill that guy. With as much range as slugs have nowadays, I was I was expecting a little too much out of it. What are you doing? Alright, see ya. That was weird. What's that guy using? Effigy? Dude, there is this is a fucking clown lobby. Maybe not. I hate the spot. I'm getting out of here. 
I have no good angles to work with. Like, that's the bad spawn on this map, but I don't have the range to keep people in it. Let me get that devour going. Oh my god, he's laggy. Those are enemy sunspots need to not get hit by those. Man, everybody disappeared as soon as I turned on my Ravenous Beast. Come on. Oh. Oh my god, Chaperone's gross. I know I've got a slug on too, but man, Chaperone has got some range. Probably not the first of my super though that, yeah. Like, why is somebody spawning behind me? Hello? Get out of here. This is my spawn. Uh, where is he? He's dead is what he is. Now, one thing I forgot to mention at the start with Taraba is that you don't want to swap off of it when you're holding it in your hands. Because if you actually pull out one of your other guns, it'll get rid of all the buff that you've built up. So you really have to just dedicate yourself to it and make sure you get that meter filled and then use it. Which can be a little limiting for us, but for as strong as the buff gets, I think it's pretty worth it. Is that super down here? Where is he? Oh, it's already about to run out. Yeah. Oh my god, that range. Oh, I still have Devourer, actually. You know, I don't know what it is about Terra, but it, but it just feels so good. Like, its stats don't look like they'd be as good as they are, but it just feels great. I used to have a good roll on uh, Hard Truths, which was another aggressive SMG that had uh, 17 zoom, so it had good range, but it, I feel like it didn't feel nearly as good as Terra does. It's gotta be some, like, secret sauce to it that I don't know about. Yeah, get get out of here. I know I just solo supered somebody earlier, but don't, don't do that shit to me. Probably gonna eat a shotgun here. Yep, and I'll miss all my shots. Wow, okay. I guess all my aim skill just fucking left my body for a second there. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I'm playing Destiny. That aim skill wasn't there to begin with. I say as I beam this guy. Would have taken like, I don't know, like 120. Oh my god, he had a sword. Man, you can't just hold W. You, you, it's an SMG. Don't do that. Oh, okay, maybe you can. Oh my god, Blueberry saved me. Why am I alive? Oh my god, he stole my kill, man. I know you're using the Trace Rifle, so you're already struggling, but like... I was almost dead, man. I, I don't know why I'm activating this. Okay, never mind, it's it's working out. It's working out. Okay, not as much as I hoped, but... Eh, we won. Works for me. Ooh. I'll get out of here with that Omniscient Eye. I think that's Omniscient Eye, actually. You know what, no, that was Succession. Oh, I couldn't get him off the point in time. Oh, well. Where are you, where are you coming from? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, well. I stopped the guy mid-ballistic slam. That's good enough for me. That's a win in my book. Dude, this dude is... This dude's tweaking. He was, like, spinning around in place just like... Ooh. Oh, uh-oh. Nope. Here, hang on. Take this. Bro. You can't just step into the thing like that. Oh, we got a last word. I wonder if he's a controller last... Bro. No shame. Hang on, I need, I need to pop this. Oh my god, he's got a sword! Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Dude just cut me from another plane of existence. Oh my god, he's not dead, what? Please. Dude, there's no way I got that. I don't deserve that in the slightest. Or not, I guess I'll all be way the fuck back here. Oh, I stole that guy's super kill, poor guy. Alright, I think I'm gonna use my Nova on somebody to get the power going, and then I'll get Ravenous Beast up. Uh, like this super that's coming up. Where is he? Is he? Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna have a damage buff for this, hang on. Oh my god. Yeah, see, look how fast he died. I was doing 20 damage to his super. Pop. Oh, come on, can I get this Goldie? Sure can. What about this guy? Nope. Almost got him, though. Uh-oh. 
please no. What? Where is... Why the, Why him? Of all people, why the guy all the way in the back? Oh, poor guy tried it. Man, he's got skull fort and everything. Uh-oh. No. Damn, I actually didn't die to the shatter dive. I died to the fist dive. Oh, that was my mic falling over. Awesome. Cool. Good to know that the stand for it didn't hold it up. Okay, thanks for the ravenous beast, bro. Where is he? What? This dude's movements aren't making much sense. I couldn't tell what that was that I just saw there. But I got him. Works for me. Oh, direct hit him with that Nova. But it's point blank, so it's not like it's actually cool, but... Speaking of things that aren't actually cool, getting golden gunned. Oh, come on. Can I get one more kill before this match ends? Please? Yeah, it, I mean, I, it wasn't the one to win the game, but I ended with one. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. I think I had help from a blueberry, though. Got three legendaries and none of them are good. Awesome. All right. That seems like as good of a place as any to end the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully my gameplay was enough to convince you to go give Teraba a try. Even if it wasn't, though, definitely still keep an eye on it because Teraba's pretty good right now. But if it gets one good buff or if it finally gets its catalyst, you'll probably see it become a pretty popular pick pretty damn fast. It is an old raid exotic gun, so you'll need to stack spoils to go buy it. But if you go to LFG or something and farm Templar for spoils, it shouldn't take that long to get. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a good one. See you next time.